fascinating story. As a former postal investigator yourself, I imagine you've seen all manner of scams, but even still, this is an unusual loot. What, why postage stamps? Absolutely, Matt. I think with postage stamps, they have a face value, and people take them for granted. These guys have stolen quite a few of them, you know, $150,000 worth, and stamps, when we look at them, aren't easily identifiable, mm. other than the face value, and they're like a currency. Obviously really difficult to trace. What about then, Terry, in terms of trying to move them on? Uh, is there a market for this sort of product? Well, what we think, and I've spoken to the police about it, and the best thing we can come up with as far as that's concerned is that these stamps are probably being on-sold through convenience stores, perhaps news agencies, even service stations, where people would go about their own business and buying stamps, mm. not knowing that they're actually stolen. So what's your message then, Terry, to anyone who might come into contact with these criminals who are trying to offload these stamps? Well, the message is... Don't buy them. Hmm. You're receiving stolen property and you could be charged yourself with receiving the stolen property. If you see somebody who's trying to off-sell these stamps, you're offered the stamps, call Crime Stoppers and, and get them off the streets. Sage advice indeed. Thanks very much, Terry.